the biggest post-storm news of the day, the resignation of MBTA General Manager Beverly Scott. Just a day after giving an impassioned news conference defending her handling of the tea over the past few days, Scott announced a few hours ago that she will be stepping down effective April 11th. Joining me now to talk more about this is WGBH News special contributor Emily Rooney. Emily, I know you've been watching our yep. recovery from the storm closely and the politics of this situation closely, but this also fits a big theory that you have mm -hmm. about what we do when things go wrong in Boston. We Describe run that. people out of town, and this is a classic example of that. Beverly Scott got a full endorsement from the board today. They took a non-biting vote of confidence. Um, it was a very positive meeting today. They had the support of all the board members, but this is a classic classic example where even the threat of a firing, which Charlie Baker did earlier this week, gave her, I'm sure, a bad taste in her mouth. She's not going to survive this. Let him put his own person in there. So what are some other examples of people you think we've run out of town, maybe unjustly, in recent years? Oh, well, any number. Matt Amarello, Mike right. Barnacle. I mean, I, I, that list is too long. Jim Carasiotis. I mean, the, 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 the list is too, too long to go on. But this is also a classic example of what I call changing drivers when the car is out of gas. We did it with the DCF commissioner. We're doing it now. Beverly Scott is not the problem at the MBTA. The MBTA has intrinsic and structural, uh, structural problems, and that is the issue there. Not her, not how she handled it, not certainly what she's done in the last 14 days that we've had you know, over six feet of snow. Do you think that she knew she was going to do this when she had that press conference yesterday? I, I happen to be there for it, and I've never quite seen anything like it. She's always a very colorful speaker, but even by her standards, it was an incredible performance and I think mm. a risky one. She was, was saying, you know, I've never, I've never talked with the governor. I look forward to meeting him for the first time later this week. Do you think she knew that this was no, coming? No, I don't. I think she probably processed it over the last 24 hours and thought, I'm going to have to do this because rather me do it, rather my, run myself out of town than have somebody do it for me. I got to ask you uh, about possible risks for Charlie Baker here. And one of them is the fact that he may now be construed as sort of the heavy who forced out uh, a widely acclaimed uh, African-American woman mm -hmm. from this prominent post. Do you think that that is a risk at all for the governor? I really don't. You know, she's an out-of-towner. She's from Atlanta, I think she came from. So yeah. she'll go back to wherever she was. I think the, the fact that she was African-American is probably secondary in all of this. The fact is, she is not his person. And eventually, it was probably going to have to come to this. But there is, I think, a, a big risk in that now his person's going to be in there. And whatever goes wrong with the T, he's going to fully own it in a way that he didn't. Would you agree with that? <laughs> I would certainly agree with that. I mean, he's going to have to put some money in this. Where it comes from is anybody's guess. He, he can't wait for the Olympics to solve this problem. I mean, because we're going to have storms next year, too. This may, you know, I don't know if we're going to get another two feet this year, but it's going to happen next year and next year. And he's going to be in office for at least four years. How do you think, just one more brief question for you, how do you think uh, Governor Baker is going to find money, if he is going to find new money to put into the system? Because Baker has said he doesn't want to raise taxes, doesn't seem to be much of an appetite in the legislature to raise taxes, so what should he do? I don't know. Maybe he'll go to the, the federal government for this. I mean, you know, the feds ended up paying for a large part of the big dig. I mean, maybe there's some formula. I don't know how something has got to change. The T system does not work. People laugh at me for not taking it, but I need to get to where I'm going. And you know, yesterday, everybody was in the same boat as me, yeah. meaning their own car. All right, Emily Rooney, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Adam.